Pilots say they're appalled a high-profile convicted criminal was able to avoid the body scan at Wellington Airport. To make matters worse, he went on to board a flight without the knowledge of the pilot and crew. The Aviation Security Service has been unable to explain how it happened, but confirmed it's investigating. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has the story. Body scanners pick up prohibited items a passenger might try to conceal. But at Wellington Airport on December 29, a man refused screening, telling staff to F off. Our understanding, it was a very dangerous criminal that should not have been allowed to bypass security at any airport. The man who New Subs decided not to name is a convicted rapist with gang links. After abusing staff and ignoring screening, he boarded his flight to Auckland without intervention and without the pilot's knowledge. That aircraft should never have been allowed to depart Wellington. The Civil Aviation Authority says its process is to make contact with the airline regarding such security incidents, and the pilot was not contacted as the pilot is an employee of the airline. But the airline involved, Air New Zealand, says it was only notified of the incident after the plane had departed. Is that too late? Well, I think that's far too late. Airport police did speak to the man on arrival in Auckland. They won't say if he was charged with anything. AVSEC searched the plane but says no one was rescreened, either in Wellington or Auckland. Kath O'Brien advocates on behalf of airlines and says rescreening should have occurred for all passengers. But it didn't. Just to prevent that opportunity for someone to have passed something to someone else um, or hidden something in another part of the terminal, perhaps. Uh, so that is, is a bit of a usual process. I'm surprised that that didn't occur. She says if rules are ignored, it puts others at risk. I think it's really serious if any person uh, skips airport screening or, or is poorly screened. This can't happen again and no one's above the law and everyone has to make sure that the processes are followed to keep people flying safe. News Hub revealed in October an international audit found significant issues with security at all our international airports with contractors and visitors not being screened for weapons or explosives. This incident highlights again that AVSEC is failing its duty to the travelling public and to the New Zealand government. It's a failure AVSEC is now investigating, saying the way the Wellington incident played out may lead to changes. Michael Mora, News Hub.